All right, we are live. Um, so we're going to start with uh, Christopher Adler. Uh, Christopher, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're doing and what that cool instrument is? Sure thing. Thank you very much. I want to thank you, uh, John and Elizabeth, for having me on The Current. Uh, uh, the instrument I'm going to be playing today is called the Can, K-H-A-E-N. It's a bamboo free reed mouth organ from Laos and Northeast Thailand. The one I'm going to be playing today is sort of particularly large, so it doesn't even really fit on the screen, but it's got a wind chest in the middle and then 16 bamboo pipes that go through in two rows. Uh, but most of the action here takes place uh, right where my hands and my mouth is going to be. Um, so this is an instrument. Uh, I've been studying traditional music and playing traditional music for about 25 years and composing original pieces for the instrument almost as long. And now I also invite other composers to write for the instrument. And I've been playing quite a bit of those pieces lately, uh, especially now in live stream concerts. So what I'd like to do today is play one of my earliest pieces for this instrument. It's called The Wind Blows Inside. It's a piece I wrote in 1997. And it it's, uses a traditional mode, but it's otherwise very much a non-traditional music. Um, and one thing you'll see as I start to play, it's a polyphonic instrument. It's almost like a pipe organ that you play with your mouth. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. This is the wind blows inside. <laughs>
There we go. Thank you very much. Very nice. Thanks. Cool. Um, so you said you're interested in having people compose for the instrument. Can you maybe tell us a little bit about it? The range, uh, how, how it works? Well, yeah, actually, I mentioned I have a big one because they come in different sizes. So each mm -hmm. one plays a two octave minor scale. So I, I actually read it in A minor. Okay. Uh, the instrument transposes. So this one's in D minor, it goes down a fifth, and I've got them from this low to as small as a B, so transposing up a second from A. And they actually come even larger and smaller, but it gets to the point where I can't get it back to the United States if they're too big. <laughs> Great, well, thanks so much. Hey, my pleasure, thanks for having me. Great. So next up, uh, we have uh, Alejandro Rudy. Hold on one second, I'm just gonna switch you over. Do, 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 do. Uh, give you one second here. All right, Alejandro, can you hear us? Still muted. Uh, okay. Um, all right. Oops. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes okay, great. Me? Excellent. Excellent. Perfect. How, how you doing? I'm uh, fine. Um, so uh, I'm a, a composer, um, and after 25 years of not playing the bass, I came back to the instrument of my youth, and uh, I got curious with these uh, instruments with more strings than the one I used to play in 1932. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I noticed that they have an incredibly diff different sound and they want to be different things. And this piece that I'm going to play is called Down With Those Guitars uh, because um, I'm using material I wrote for a guitar trio in, in, in the fall. Um, and I'm giving it to the bass uh, that really wants to be a guitar. And I never play guitar. I don't, I'm not a guitar player. I don't know how to play guitar. But I'm, I'll try to see, I'll try to get the bass to be somewhat uh, guitar. So mm -hmm. um, here we go. Uh, um, uh, down with those guitars. Here? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. 
great um can i ask you a little bit about your instrument yes so is this, can you describe what a six string bass is for everybody uh, well i mean traditionally we the basses were four then everybody was starting to play with a fifth string which is a low b and um, in later years i mean last couple of decades i think you started seeing a high c on top and what happens is that you know they start sounding, you know, they start sharing a lot of, of, of register with the guitar and they have a lot of sustain. Uh, like, so it becomes a hybrid and, and I, 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 I love that now I can write music for, for the bass, mm -hmm. whereas before I just didn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. Great. Um, and you said you're, you're, that's not your primary instrument, is not bass? I was primarily always a composer and more of a pianist than a bassist. Okay. But in the last few years, you know, I, I got hold of uh, some instruments, and this is a beautiful uh, instrument I got last year. Uh, and I can't, uh, I can't, I don't feel well if I don't practice three hours every day. <laughs> <laughs> I need, I have the urge. Mm. I noticed a lot of your right hand technique is kind of based on, on classical guitar or, or flamenco. Yes. Because what I find is that uh, having the instrument this way allows me to get to the to the first position and to the last position without the trouble of dealing with the strap. Mm -hmm. And I've seen uh, some bass players do this and use the classical guitar position because you, you, switching from playing here to playing here with the strap, I, I found it difficult. Okay, yeah. 
Sounds excellent. Yeah, really cool. Um, do you have anything else you want to play for us, or? No, that's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> uh, what What are you uh, currently working on? Um, well, uh, I'm. I just uh, finished a piece for two bases. Now, now that we are in in isolation, uh, I want to write a lot for for bass. I I, I wrote a piece for two bases. I'm writing another solo, um, and uh, I'm adapting a piece that used to be for uh, trio without a bass, and it was a woundred instrument, and now it's with bass. Hmm. So essentially, in the last few months, in the next few months, I, I plan to be playing those pieces and recording them. Great. Excellent. Awesome. Um, thank you very much. OK, um, it's going to take a little second here uh, to talk about uh, what's going on. So um, we are very thankful that 889 DAV Classical Public Radio is committed to donating $50 each to the artists we present. If you can spare some change or even match what they're giving, that would be fantastic. It would really help out Charlotte Music. Um, we have various links we're going to be posting. Uh, you can do PayPal, Charlotte New Music. Venmo at CLT New Music, um, also Cash App at dollar sign CLT New Music. So uh, we'll be posting those links in the chat. Uh, would be really, really great if you could help out. Um, all right, so next up, we're gonna kind of change things up. I'm gonna have uh, George Banda. Let's see if I can pull George here. Hi guys. Hey. Can you guys hear me? Mm-hmm. How's up? Thank you guys for having me. This is so cool. I, uh, I've loved everything that I've listened to so far. It's absolutely wonderful. Great. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what you're going to do? Uh, I'm going to do a couple of songs, one off of my uh, first album. Uh, that is one of my favorite songs to do. And uh, then I'll do one of uh, another one of my songs that's off my latest album. Uh, my first album was just titled George Bonda. And my newest album that was released in February is titled Too Diminished. Uh, yes, it's a music reference, but it's also a play on words. Great. Sweet. Uh, so this first song, uh, this is uh, called Just for Love. And it's off, the, again, the first album. I've been in a lovely love, but not like this before. It was just emotions, singles, butterflies, nothing more. All of which left me dying, broken, crying, laying on the floor. Then you walked right through the door. And you were singing just for love. Yeah, you were singing just for love. Yeah, you were singing. But I received the love you gave and acted a lie over. Too afraid all that I was made, so I pushed you out the door. Yet you persist with endless kiss of love that saved me from depression's grope. This phrase is not some empty trope. Now I'm singing just for love. 
Now I'm singing just for love. Now I'm singing. Ooh. I sing. Ooh. Now I'm singing just for love. Now I'm singing just for love. Now I'm singing just for love. Your love. Your love. Your love. Your love. I've been a lovely love, but not like this before. It was just emotion, singles, butterflies, nothing more. All of which left me dying, broken, crying, laying on the floor. Then you walked right through the door. Now I'm singing just love. Yeah, now you are singing just love. Yeah, now we are seeing just love. We sing. Thank you guys. Great. Yeah. Cool. Um, so yeah, uh, as you Tell can see, about yourself, what you're, what you're doing, what you, uh, well, what's going on? Uh, like just with everyone else in quarantine, I've been, uh, playing a lot of guitar clearly. Uh, I'm writing my next album right now. So I guess that's what we can do just, you know, and teaching, you know, uh, but mostly just uh, surviving. I hope everyone else is doing well. I know that these times are uh, kind of strange and difficult, but uh, this uh, this instrument has gotten me through a lot, and it'll probably get me through this as well. So you know, it's uh, it's been it's been interesting. <laughs> Great. How, how many albums did you say you have out? I have two out right now. Uh, my first one is self-titled George Bonda. Uh, and then my second one uh, is titled Too Diminished uh, After the Harmonic Minor Scale. I know, I know, I know I'm a nerd. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> and where, where are those available? Uh, uh, those are available on Bandcamp. Uh, the link is down there. But also you can listen to it on Spotify, on Google Play, on Apple Music, on all the streaming services. Uh, both of those are readily available to go. And uh, also, I want to thank the city of Charlotte and especially Charlotte Magazine for and for the voters uh, for voting me, uh, giving me a Bob Award this year. That was pretty cool as well. So that's what, well, that's what else is going on. So I'm pretty excited right now. It's uh, it's been a really cool. That's been really cool in a pretty uh, weird time. Yeah, great. I'll tell us about the next song you're going to do. Uh, this next song is a song that I sing, and I want to give a shout out to uh, Alexa Jensen. Uh, she is one of my dear friends, and she has wonderful music as well. Uh, she sings a song with me, but this song is a song that I wrote around a very difficult time of my life where I thought that it was all going to go away and I wanted to end it all. Uh, and uh, it's a song that I wrote a letter to my friend, uh, and I thought it would be a very vulnerable song. But I just want to say this right now to those of you guys out there who listen to this, who struggle with depression, anxiety, uh, and 
and you're struggling right now, let reach out to someone. I know that you're loved and that you're important and that you matter uh, and that we will get through this together. So this next song is called I Need You. It's also in my favorite key, A flat. They say I'm scum and I'm dirt But I'm just broken and I'm hurt They don't have to remind me No what I'm worth I live it up but I'm down And life keeps spinning all around Feel free to save me from myself. No, I need you. No. My talk is cheap So let my actions speak I don't care what they think I'm still running after you And though I'm frail and I'm small find the plan help me up from this fall no I need you no I need you to be bigger than my hopes, bigger than my fears, bigger than my desire, bigger than my faults, my shame, my sin, my addiction, bigger than all of me.
No. I need you. No. I need you. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Welcome. Nice job. All right, so we have links to your to your songs up on the chat. Sweet. So once again, give one more one more shout out where we can uh, get your music. Uh, so you can find it on my Bandcamp. You can find it on my uh, Facebook page. You can find it on my Instagram. Follow me at George underscore Bondo or George uh, George Bondo Music on Instagram. You can find it on all the streaming services: Spotify, Google Play, Apple Music, uh, all the rest of them. And it's all out there. Great, thank you, George. Hey, thank you guys. Great. All right. So next up, we have uh, Mr. Ron Brendel. Uh, if you don't know Ron, Ron is kind of a, a Charlotte institution. <laughs> <laughs> should be in a charlotte institution <laughs> there we go great how are you holding up during this ron i'm doing okay um yeah yeah um i had a little accident a couple weeks ago and injured my left shoulder uh so i, I can't really play upright bass i was hoping to do this on upright um but i it it hurts too much to hold my arm up for more than about five minutes so eventually i'll get back to it but for now i was going to play the the piece that i was going to play on upright on electric and it's a tune called sardinia and it's um it's off my uh my cd called here that i released in 2002 i mean 2000 and uh, it's a trio CD with Frank Kimbrough and Al Sergal. And um, it's acoustic bass piano and, and drums on the CD. But um, for this instance, I'm going to give it a shot on electric bass. Great. And I had a reoccurring dream uh, when I was a kid. And even now, and I, I like to have this dream. It's a great, um, it's really a, an awesome dream. It's um, a dream that I'm at some place by the ocean, the water's crystal clear, and there's mountains coming out of water, and uh, just a beautiful scene. And <clears throat> years ago, I was ha happened to be looking in a National Geographic magazine, and I, it had an article about Sardinia, and I looked at it, and one of the pictures I saw was exactly like my reoccurring dream, so that prompted me to write this tune called Sardinia. All right, thank you very much. I'll see what happens. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
was great. Thank you. So was, was the piece originally a solo piece? Uh, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I originally wrote it uh, on solo, uh, on acoustic bass as a solo piece. Hmm. And then I found out it was a lot easier to play with other musicians, so. <laughs> <laughs> great. Uh, what, can you talk a little bit about the whole Low Note, uh, your whole Low Note label? Yeah, Low Note's a label I started uh, after I, when I released my first CD back in uh, 1990, uh, when was it? One, I guess, 91. Uh, I, it just it was, you know, a, a label to, to release my own things, and I've got... Uh, I've got a lot of releases now. I think I've got 14 now, but uh, they're not all mine. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, Scott Newell just put his new CD out on it, on, mm -hmm. on the label. Troy Cons is on it, and uh, there's a singer in New York named Marianne the Prophetess who has her CD on it, and the, the rest of them are, are my projects. Mm -hmm. So, so it's lownote.com if anybody wants to check it out, and then ronbrendel.com is the website. Also, Bandcamp. Uh, dot com slash Ron Brendel uh, has some things and I'm going to be putting some more stuff up that's one thing that I'm trying to force myself to do during this, these unusual times uh, is to get some of my things that I've recorded and maybe get them up on Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. Are you doing anything with Spotify? Uh, I oh you know uh, everything's released on um, on CD Baby that I do pretty much and I think they put it on Spotify. Okay. But you can't make any money on no. Spotify. I mean, <laughs> no. let's, let's face it. I mean, you can get a million plays and you're not going to make any money. So, yeah. I like Bandcamp. Bandcamp's my, my thing. Cool. And CDs. Uh, CDs did, you get anything else? did you get anything else you want to play for us? Or? Uh, that's really about it for, for this one, if that's okay. Okay. Yeah, that's great. Cool. I enjoyed well, it. Thanks, Thank Tom. you very much. Thanks yeah. for asking me to do it. We'll appreciate it. No problem. Great. Well, I want to thank everybody for uh, for playing, uh, Ron and George and Alejandro and Christopher. Um, it was fantastic. We've got links to everybody's music in the chat, and we'll have links on the Charlotte Music Festival. Um, again, if you'd like to donate, uh, we have uh, Venmo Charlotte New Music, PayPal Info at Charlotte New Music, Cash App Dollar Sign Charlotte New Music. Um, all the donations will go to the performers tonight. Um, so again, thanks so much everybody for, uh, for joining in. Uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you, John. Thanks. Take care.